Hi everyone, it's Catherine here from Chaos Creates. Thanks for joining me on my channel today. I'm here to share with you a layout I'm creating for Confessions of a Paper Addict, but this time it is a very special one. It is to celebrate Copa Cut Files third birthday with this YouTube hop. Don't forget there's 30% off in store for the month of March, New Zealand time. I am using the Build a Stitch Present cut file. So this is a new release this month. So I have gone ahead and cut it out on this paper from the Make-A-Wish collection. This is the Coco Vanilla Studio. It's a very old collection. And I've cut it out just of the one paper, but I flipped the... Um, I guess the ribbon around to be the opposite side, which is this beautiful pink. And I've got that striped um, blue for the present. And I've stitched in uh, just a simple straight stitch um, using a similar color thread. I will have listed below what that thread color is if you're really interested. So I'm going to use this spot spotted um, background paper but I'm going to go ahead and trim down a piece of white cardstock um, just to lay over the top. I have a lot of paper in this collection still, not many embellishments so I'm not going to bother um, you know gutting this paper. I'm going to use it all and so I'm just roughing up the edges there of that white cardstock. Um, I like to do this if, if you haven't watched my videos before I like to do this so that you know straight lines don't matter too much. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick that down with some ATG tape there and I am documenting the documenting this cute little photo of Sebastian. He It was his first birthday so yes I'm still trying to get his baby album done and my sister had taken this gorgeous little snap of him. I'm actually holding him but I've sort of just cropped that photo down to a four by four. Um, yeah because you know the other part was just a little bit of my hair didn't mean too much so I wanted to make the most of that gorgeous little face and that smile. So I'm just sorting through the papers here to see what I can back um, the photo so give it a little bit of um, you know mount that photo on some other pattern paper I have mounted it on some white cardstock and I'm just going to use that one there and just rough up the edges again so yeah this is a fun YouTube hop don't forget I will leave links below in the description with all the wonderful creatives playing along on this hop now there is obviously the DT members but there's a whole host of other people joining in so you will see confessions of a paper addict cut files you know um, lots of inspiration especially birthday inspiration you know this month's all about birthday and it suits me fine because it's my birthday coming up this month too so you know it's a fun month for me I love this time of year um, in Australia so it's heading into autumn autumn started it's still nice and warm when I'm recording this in Melbourne where I live um, but yeah so you know it's just a good chance to document those birthdays. So that's what I'm doing here. Now, as you can see, I'm going through the different ephemera I've got. I've actually got some cut aparts. I've got a few stickers left. Um, there's a fair few printables actually. Zoe did, I think it was for International Scrapbooking Day, she released some printables from this collection and so I have got some of that printed. Now I really love this, this says sweet thing and I thought that just fitted so perfectly on that present there so I'm going to go ahead and just stick it straight down, not think about it. Um, I do go through and sort of sort through the ephemera and just see what I have to work with. There was lots of sort of words and a few little cute um, icons and things. You know, I've got some florals there, some that I'll have to fussy cut. And yeah, just sorting through what I can make work. So <laughs> the beauty of recording, I have gone ahead and trimmed out a few of these things. So I've got that cake there. I, if, if you've got a keen eye, I have just, um, cut it out just with the one candle. There was three on top, but I thought one was appropriate seeing as this was Seb's first birthday that I'm still documenting. He is going to be seven in April. So, you know, I'm a little bit behind, but hey, you know, his baby album will get finished one day. <laughs> so I'm laying out a few of these ephemera pieces. I'm going to make the most of these florals. So I've got the one up the top there with a banner that says, yay. And then I'm putting these tickets down in this corner. I've used a, sort of a doily cutout um, at the side of my photo as well as a tab at the top. I'll do some journaling there at some stage. I've got a few gorgeous butterflies. Now I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut that let's party and again 
joys of recording. So I didn't make you watch all that. I have cut it out. I've, I've fussy cut those um, words out and that will become my title. So I'm just going to go ahead and move that top cluster over because I wanted this title sitting above the photo. I thought it worked better there. Now, in some of those, so that bottom cluster, I have got party time. So it's the titles, let's party, but there's a few, I will add a few more word stickers too. So I'm going to go ahead and stick all of that down. I use some wet adhesive. I use some foam squares to stick that down. As you can see, I'm sticking that butterfly down. I'm bending up the edges first and just putting a little bit of glue on that edge. Now I didn't, um, you know, pop my title up on some foam. I just thought it was too thin and I just wasn't really in the mood to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and add some word stickers here. So this one is adorable and I'm just cutting a little um, fishtail banner in it. And then I do go ahead and add one down the bottom cluster that says, I think, mm, Eat cake, something about cake. I can't remember. Sorry, I haven't got the layout in front of me. So um, I did pull out some little sprinkly bits that I'm going to use on the layout. These are from Kaiser Craft. So I just wanted to use these gorgeous little pink hearts. And I'm just going to sprinkle them around those three sort of clusters. And I really love how this um, this layout's coming together. Uh, it's, it's a pattern I use a lot, I guess. You know, I do add the border and, um, yeah, use white cardstock in the middle. That's what I've been doing lately, but it's been working. So I'm going to go ahead and add some gold splatters and that will be pretty much it for my layout. But I really hope you've enjoyed this. I really encourage you to go and check out all the people playing along and I will leave you with some close-ups um, as well at the end. But I just wanted to say congratulations, Virginia, on making it three years with this wonderful Confessions of a Paper Addict. I am so proud to be part of this design team. So I hope you have enjoyed and yeah thanks again for watching please leave some comments below if you um if you like this layout thanks everyone bye mm -hmm.